Chainlink's data protocol is a global standard that's now been adopted by the vast majority of DeFi for getting market reference and other key pieces of data on chain. It's already enabled tens of trillions of dollars in transaction value in the DeFi economy. And now it's being adopted by the TradFi institutional world as their standardized way to put data on chain. It's important to have a single data standard that everyone can rely on because the inclusion of data into contracts is such a critical component of their security and reliability that you not only have to prove that the contract is secure, you have to prove that the data in the contract is secure and verifiable and immune to manipulation, which is what the Chainlink data standard provides. It provides the ability to make sure that not only is your contract reliable, but also the data powering and driving the contract's decisions is reliable, which is something that people in DeFi and risk management teams in DeFi evaluate when deciding where to put their capital. And if you don't have the standardized chain link data standard and protocol powering your uh, system, there's a lot of capital and there's a lot of risk management teams that just won't touch your system. That's because it, it, is, it is a certain high level of security and reliability without which they don't want to deal with, with you as a counterparty or your contract as a counterparty. That's really the dynamic that we're now implementing in the TradFi world. And if the DeFi world and the TradFi world are on a single data standard where they define the reliability of their contract from a data point of view on this single standard, then they can more easily transact with each other. Because before I can transact with you, I need to agree on a price. We need to agree on how we're valuing or what the price is for settlement of the transaction. And so that will be true in DeFi, it'll be true in TradFi, and it'll be true in between DeFi and TradFi, which is why having a single data standard that everyone can rely on will actually lower the cost of transaction, speed up the rate of uh, smart contract adoption, and allow transactions to happen reliably, which is, which is what the Chainlink standard is already doing now in DeFi, starting to do in TradFi, and will also do for the DeFi and TradFi convergence.